Hi, it's Dr. Dono. Welcome to week 48. Let's get started. Our iceberg is melting. What does that mean? Because I live in Las Vegas. We don't even have icebergs. It means that there are areas in your life, in your business, in your career that are slowly but surely coming apart. And you can't see it because it's melting from the inside out. What do you need to do? You got to change. You got to implement change. I know change is hard. Change is difficult. Nobody likes to change. But if you don't change, you're going to find yourself in a precarious situation. And it might even be worse than that. You have to change. Now, what do I recommend? I recommend taking risk every day and slowly changing things. But some of you like to wait until the walls are falling in, the ceiling has come crashing down on you, and then you want to change. And for those of you who want to do that and your iceberg is almost melting, here are the eight steps that they recommend for that process. Do yourself a favor, always be willing to change. ABC, always be changing because then you don't have to have some catastrophic event occur before you get your butt moving. Be a nomad and that's what they suggest in the book. So I say change, 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 change. That's what you need to do. Ooh, ooh. Seriously, you gotta change. Last week's TED talk was how to have a happy life. Now, most people think having a happy life means, oh, I've got plenty of money and I have fame and fortune and I'm balling out and bossing out and life is amazing and life is good because I'm super, super successful and I'm the VP and the president and the director and all these amazing titles. They did a 75 year study and they followed 724 men. You know what they found out? The people that were the happiest had lives that had meaningful relationships. Think about your life right now and all of your relationships. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to them as the triple threat, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Think about all those people and the ones that just suck the life out of you. Do you know that they're stopping you from creating a long life, a happy life? And even if you have millions and billions of dollars, you can still be miserable based upon your relationships. So the suggestion from the TED Talk and the suggestion from Dr. Donna as I always say, surround yourself with champions and not champions. You got to lose those losers if you want to live a long, happy, and prosperous life. This week's book, The New PR. Everybody needs PR. Everybody hates PR. But oh my God, it's like this necessary evil. Let's find out what The New PR is all about. This week's TED Talk, The Power Ooh, of Seduction in our everyday lives. As I always say, when you can see it and you can read it, then you can believe it and most certainly you can achieve it. From here to the galaxy. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.